Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be talking about the 1901 United Kingdom penny. Um, there's a lot to learn about it, from its values to its information and historical context. But we'll start on the back of the coin. We see um, Leonard Charles Wyon's engraving of Britannia, who's kind of the uh, symbol of liberty and freedom, and just the you know the country's symbol of the United Kingdom. Um, and she's got the trident in her left hand, the Union flag. Um, in her right on a shield, uh, then she's kind of seated, and there should be a C in the back, though it's a little bit worn away here. Then on this side of the coin, the front, Victoria de Gras, Brit Regina, Fid Def, and Imp, that's going to mean Victoria by the grace of God, Queen of the Britons, Defender of the Faith, Empress of India, engraved by Thomas Brock. It weighs 9.45 grams, uh, which is 1 48th of a pound of bronze. Um, so, uh, just kind of interesting little fact there. This one was actually the last year that Queen Victoria, who reigned from 1837 to 1901, um, would have appeared on the coins, and this is considered the old head version. Um, her portrait was redone in 1895 to make for a small series that ran from 1895 to 1901. So this is kind of interesting in the sense that it's that last year, a uh, little bit of history behind that. Um, 240 pennies would have made a British pound. They went off the pound sterling system over to decimal in 1970, 1971, around that time. So it marked the end of a long reign of the pound sterling starting in 1158, going all the way to 1970. Um, I believe I already said it, but the diameter is going to be 30.8 millimeters, thickness 1.6 millimeters, in case I haven't. Uh, and then in terms of the mintage, 22,205,500 of them ended up getting made. Uh, in this condition, it's probably worth about 80 cents or so. Um, it really is going to kick up when you get into the XFAU range to about 5 to $10. And then if you get a nice uncirculated coin, it could be about $20, $25. But really, the value is going to be in a nice red copy when the metal still looks red, and those can really range up. But you want to look on eBay or Heritage or other auction sites to get the best um, picture of what things are currently selling for, because that's really what you want to focus on and consider as important in terms of evaluation for a higher-end coin. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Christian, the founder of the Coin Dictionary Project, and I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel like the video, and check out my other channel, Treasure Town, and subscribe to that as well. If you're interested in supporting the channel financially, there are links below that are mostly affiliate links where you can purchase something you probably would have been buying anyways, and by going through my link when you buy, there will be a kickback directly to the Coin Dictionary project that will help support its operations. Hope to see you on some of my other videos, as well as on my channel, Treasure Town.